How to mix music on turntables. If you plan on spinning vinyl, these tips can help you lay down a groove that makes people move. You will need two turntables, two slip mats, two cartridges, a DJ mixer, headphones, external speakers, two sets of cables, and a vinyl record collection. Optional, a sense of rhythm. Step one, on each turntable, replace the rubber mat covering the large round disc or platter with a slip mat and attach a cartridge to the tone arm. Step two, balance the tone arm to help avoid skipping. Turn the turntable's counterweight until the tone arm floats above the turntable and the cartridge's needle is even with the record's playing surface. Hold the counterweight still and set its dial at zero. Then spin the counterweight until the dial matches the mass specified by the cartridge manufacturer. Step three, connect the turntables to the mixer's input and the mixer's outputs to the external speakers using RCA or other appropriate cables. Plug your headphones into the headphone jack. It has a separate mix you can adjust without affecting the music in the external speakers. Use headphones that fit over your ears rather than earbuds for better sound quality. Step four, Secure the turntable's ground leads to eliminate excess noise. Slide the leads between the mixer and the back grounding screw and then tighten the screw by hand. Step five, adjust the turntable's anti-skate. With the anti-skate knob at its first notch, begin playing an LP. When the anti-skate is too low, the left channel will dominate the volume. Increase the anti-skate's level until the right and left channels sound balanced. When you think you've found the right anti-skate level, try going one more notch if the sound deteriorates, go back. Step six, delve into your record collection and choose a tune to get the party started. Place it on the left turntable and, with your mixer's crossfader all the way left, start it up. Step seven, as the left side plays, choose a song to play next. Put the record on the right turntable and, using only your headphones independent mix, find the perfect place in the song to start it. Try playing songs with similar beats after one another to help your audience maintain a steady groove. Step eight, hold the right side record still while the platter rotates underneath the slip mat. When you want to switch to the new song, release the right side record as you simultaneously adjust the crossfader from left to right, creating a seamless transition between the two songs. Step nine, repeat this process switching between turntables. Remember to keep a steady supply of records on hand. For a good DJ, the party never stops. Did you know, Francis Grasso, a New York City disc jockey, is credited with first mixing records together in the late 1960s.